And I am pleased to inform you this is not just any match. This is a Peter Drury and Graham Lasso match. It's a big <laughs> one, guys. Glad to have you on the call today. <laughs> Ahmed, it's, uh, it's great to be here on a, on a Friday evening. And, and I want to check, Graham, between us, that reality meets with our imagination. <laughs> is, is this place really a little bit twitchier, a little bit tighter, a little bit more excitable? What, what is the sense you're mm. getting from Arsenal supporters walking around the ground today? Well, there's definitely, they've lost that, just that freedom to enjoy their football. <laughs> All of a sudden, everything matters. Every detail matters. Every team selection matters. Obviously, Xhaka's out. You know, a couple of years ago, they'd be cheering when Xhaka was out of the team. Now they're going, oh, my goodness, what are we going to be like with Xhaka not playing? How does he address that? Vieira comes in. The, the, the issue, I think, for Arsenal fans and Arsenal players alike is they've got to try as hard as they can to live in the moment, as they've done up to this point or up to a couple of weeks ago. It's the first time they've blinked was those games against Liverpool, and, and their second game against West Ham, more so against West Ham, and being 2-0 up in both of those matches, but conceding before half-time, I think that's the staging post for today. They, if they can get two goals up against Southampton and get to half-time without conceding, then they'll suddenly reconnect with all of that amazing form that we've seen throughout the season, and they'll be able to start to put some space between them and the psychological issues that is giving away two-goal leads. And do you suspect, and it can only be a hunch, do you suspect that they are psychologically robust Bust enough to deal with what has happened and what's about to happen. Um, I think they are in the sense that they've got so much creativity and they've played with so much freedom of spirit and belief and they've not wavered at all during the season. So I really do think they have, but it's the beauty of sport and it doesn't matter how good you are. Um, living those experiences and going through that in your, as together it builds resilience in itself. So, so they're crossing these these barriers that they didn't know were there every time they play, and how they react and how they perform is an ongoing conflict that they're going to have between now and the end of the season. Sure. And of course, Ahmed, there is a Southampton aspect of this as well. We'll deal with that in time. Uh, historically, though, they don't have a lot of hope. They have never won a Premier League game at Arsenal. Indeed, the last league game they won at Arsenal was 1987. We're talking Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a while, is what you guys are saying. Uh, back to them a little bit later in our show. Welcome in studio for the first time. Ahmed Farid here with Tim Howard and Robbie Musto. A couple things there that Graham mentioned. Granite Xhaka not mm. playing today, not on the team for Arsenal. Uh, reportedly an illness. We'll get into that as, as we talk about this game. But Tim, your first time in studio since we've seen these couple of stumbles for Arsenal. Two goal leads. They drop points in both of those. Is this a time to worry or just kind of a small bump in the road for this club, you think? Um, it's concerning. There's no doubt that it's concerning um, with the way that Arsenal have been playing. And I, I heard the two Robbies say this last week, and they shouldn't need more than two goals to win a football match. Mm. But that's what's, what, that's what's uh, shown itself. And so they've dropped points in the last two games. And, of course, yes, that's a concern. Uh, Saliba has been a big injury. He's been a big injury miss. And, and, look, Rob Holding just simply isn't the quality of Saliba. So they've missed him. Um, I don't have any concern uh, with Saka. He's been brilliant. He's been nearly perfect. Yes, he missed a penalty last week. We've seen Holland miss penalties in certain competitions. We've seen Mo Salah miss two penalties in the Premier League. That happens to the top players. I have zero concern about that. I think there's – look, everyone's wondering, is there, is there a wobble? Is this the wobble? I'm not, I'm not yet ready to go that far. Uh, with Arsenal, I think Manchester City are the most formidable champion probably in all of Europe. Uh, they're going to be difficult to catch over the line. It's going to take every ounce of sweat and every ounce of luck. And, and it's not going to be smooth sailing. You're not going to win the league if you're Arsenal by eight points. It's going to be tight. Uh, I, I think the disappointment comes when I look at what Mikel Arteta said this week was his team was 2-0 up. They needed to keep going. They got complacent. They <clears throat> took their foot off the gas. They controlled the game. So they needed to continue to control that game. And when I think of those comments and I look at today and Southampton at, rooted at the bottom of the table, this is a perfect bounce back opportunity for Arsenal to go out, start well. They always start well, get the goals and pile those goals on. Get into this game. Feel good about yourself because that's a massive game midweek against City. So what I'm hearing from Graham, not time to panic. Tim saying not time to panic. <laughs> Robbie Musto. Yeah. Time to learn, though. Learn quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think from the last game, particularly against West Ham, that stage at 2-0, and then the manager said it himself afterwards, we stopped playing. We stopped doing the things that got us to 2-0. And that is attacking. Arsenal being brilliant going forward, mm -hmm. attacking. And there's one thing I would describe Arsenal this season, that they've, over the course of this long season, they've become automatic. The way that they play, the movements, we were there well, way back a few months ago, we were actually in the stadium and I got to see the way that they moved and, and, and passed the ball. 
it was automatic. Now, the question is, and Graham kind of hinted at it, is that when it gets to this point, does, that, does the, the brain take over a little bit? And then it changes. Then the automatic kind of motions of continuing to attack, they just leave it because they're overthinking. Well, we're 2-0 up. This is tight at the end of the season. Let's just make sure we don't make a mistake. And that's what Arteta was upset about. We've got to continue in the same way. So Zinchenko being back will help that today because he's a creative type that wants to get on the ball. Um, but I just think feel-good factor. Back at the Emirates, mm. huge support, you know, against the, the bottom uh, place team in Southampton. It's got to be a good uh, confidence boost to go into next week's mas massive game. Having said that, if we don't see a response from Arsenal today, yeah. what does that mean? Yeah, that would that for me, given the opponent, would be would be a huge concern. And something most of you just talked about is is the Emirates. I actually think Graham touched on it as well. That it used to be this everyone's ha ha, we we got this big lead, and now there's more concern. Mm -hmm. I think we'll also feel that not in a negative way, not in a negative mm -hmm. way. I mm -hmm. think the fans will deserve to say, listen, we've supported this team, we're behind you, we're together, but the last two performances haven't been good enough. That's football. Mm. And I think they'll get right behind them, and I think they'll be up for it, uh, but I will think there'll be some expectation in the stadium today. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the, the Granite Xhaka thing, I, mean, I don't know if you were going to touch on that. Um, less of a concern in today's game at home. Vieira is a very creative player. They're going to dominate possession of the ball, though, to be fair, Sellers said from Southampton's point of view that they're going to try and press Arsenal. They're going to mm. take the game mm. to Arsenal. <sighs> Dangerous. Good luck. Good <laughs> luck with that because it right. could leave him a little bit exposed. So, Jacka, they need him for midweek. Uh, we'll see how he is. Might be some nerves inside that stadium you mentioned. I said I would, I would venture to guess that they need a fast start, but yeah. we've seen that the last couple of games for us. And that <laughs> fast help. start hasn't been yeah. necessarily uh, the best thing for them. Hi there. I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.